What's up everybody, Pseudonym here from MuleHornGaming.com, here again, PAX South 2019, I'm with Tristan here, uh, we are talking about Don't Give Up. That's right. Alright, uh, What? and remind me the name of the studio. Taco Pizza Cat Games. Taco Pizza Cat Games, so... Uh, memorable, and uh, you take a look at my sweater here, it's pretty clear to see where the inspiration came from. So so tell me a little bit about Don't Give Up. What's what's kind of the background? What's the inspiration behind it? So I've been developing games for about six years now with no success. And about three to four years into that time, I sort of felt like giving up. I became very depressed because it just wasn't working out. So I decided to start channeling my feelings into a game about that, about that experience. Because it's actually pretty common in the indie de development world. It's kind of a real struggle to get your game out there these days and have it be sustainable. So I decided to channel that energy into a new game that would be a little bit different and sort of ignore being trendy and trying to succeed where others had before. Yeah, great. Well, uh, can you tell us a little bit about what um, uh, you know what 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 uh, what the story is and and how the game progresses? So the story takes place when this uh, familiar game developer is on the approach of a mental breakdown. Uh, so the game hits you with sort of it's a charming game that's full of humor, but the game kicks off by hitting you with a certain seriousness to let you know that there are mature and more serious themes, but there's also a lot of fun to be had. Um, so it starts off with that, and then it lets you peek into the mind of the main character. So there's two worlds. So you're playing as the main character, and then you're also witnessing the things that are happening in his subconscious at night. So the things that happen throughout the day and his emotions are reflected through that. Uh, so you're switching off between the, the two worlds and sort of just trying to do the best as you, that you can as an everyday human. Yeah, yeah, and it, it deals a lot with if I'm, you know, if I'm not mistaken, like anxiety, stress, yeah. the real stuff in the real world. So the en the major enemies in the game are uh, Triss's negative emotions. So anxiety, depression, fear. They manifest uh, and try and make him do things he doesn't want to do. So during those phases when you're in the subconscious, you'll take control of the character that sort of confronts those parts of his mind. And then in the real world, you take actions to sort of help him become stronger and defeat defeat those uh, negative emotions. That's really awesome. I know there's a lot of folks out there, myself included, that you know we struggle with anxiety, depression, mental illness. What's what's the one takeaway that you would want for, for someone like that that experiences that uh, to kind of take away from from don't give up? Uh, well I think it's a I think a lot of times because people who don't suffer from mental illness can't see it. It's harder for them to understand and I think don't give up uh, packages it in a way uh, that it's sort of metaphoric and it's a way that people can sort of understand in a way they couldn't before uh, because plenty of gamers use games as an outlet uh, when they have issues that they're trying to run away from or if they have trouble connecting with the real world and I think this game can branch the two because it's got a lot of humor but it also gives physical form and tangible form to the things that people go through who suffer from things like uh, anxiety, being antisocial, depre depression, self-harm, stuff like that, but it also makes it approachable with the humor. Yeah, great. I mean, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, when and where can we expect to find it? Uh, so we're pretty on track to release for summer this year. I was saying around June we should be ready to go. We just got a new comp composer on it and I've seen people literally jamming to the headphones so the music's kicking and yeah there's a lot of charm and innovation going on so uh, it'll be on Steam to start. Uh, we'll have a Mac build, we'll have a, PC, a Windows build, we'll have a Linux build and then we're also going to try and head over to the Switch shortly after that. Great, great. I'm glad to hear it. Guys, the game is Don't Give Up. Uh, Pizza Cat Studios, Tristan, thank you so much for thank speaking you. with me. It's great. Yeah, thank you very much.